YouTube, Kurt Curtis. I'm a part-time eBay seller and dividend stock investor. Uh, most of the videos on this channel are about selling on eBay. However, once a month, I like to go over my dividend income because I put all the money I make um, on eBay towards dividend stocks to build up a dividend stock portfolio. So I just like to show the progress of that. Even if no one watches these, it'll be interesting looking back at these videos um, like years down the road uh, to see like um, to see my progress and all that. So um, for October 2020, uh, first up, KO Coca-Cola. I got $9.95 from them this month. So not too bad. Um, next up, we got O Realty Income. I got $3.77 from them. It's a REIT. Um, I've actually been recently purchasing more shares of that. So my payment next month from them should be a little bit more. Next up, we got PEY. This is an ETF. I got $4.27 from them this month. Next up, we got LTC Properties, another REIT. Got $4.30 from them. Now we have SPHD. This is another ETF. I got $11.76 from them. And the last payment for the month was from SPLV, which is another ETF. I got $1.80 from them. So my total dividends for October 2020 were $35.85. Um, however, there was one company, uh, JP Morgan Chase, which I actually own shares of, that typically would pay like at the end of this month, but for some reason their payment was a few days late. So it actually, I actually got paid from them in November. So um, normally it would have boosted my um, dividends for this month, but since I technically didn't get paid in October, I'm gonna save that for next month. So my dividends were a little bit less this month than they should have been, but it'll be boosted up next month because of that. Sometimes I've noticed that like some companies that pay towards the end of the month, like every once in a while, just kind of like, instead of being at the end of the month, it's a couple days into the next month. A little bit annoying, but it is what it is. I still got the money, not too worried about it. Um, yeah, so 20, 2020 made $35.85 in October. And in 2019, one year ago, I only made $7.55. So you can see the progress here, uh, pretty good. <clears throat> Obviously this month is a pretty small month. like. Last month I had over $80 in dividend payments, but you know, certain months are just gonna be different. It's all gonna average out in the end, but it just depends on what companies are paying what months. <clears throat> as far as dividend increases go, um, not including ETFs, because those are kind of all over the place, but um, as far as individual companies, the only company that uh, gave an increase was O Realty Income. This company typically increases their dividend every quarter. However, it's like a very small increase, like literally like less than a penny, like a fraction of a penny increase, but it's still a good sign that they do that. Most companies, if they even do increase their dividend, it's usually like once a year, but um, this company does it quarterly. So I, I will take any increase that I can get. It's like a free raise. Now this is not that big a deal. If you only owe, like, own like a little bit of shares, kind of like me, it doesn't make that big a difference. But if you own hundreds or even thousands of shares, a small increase like this can make, make a huge difference. But um, yeah, we'll get there one day. Um, so they, uh, last time, last month, I got paid 0.2335 cents per share for realty income, and now they're paying 0.234. So not much of a increase, literally less than a penny, less than like half a penny, but um, yeah, I'll take it. So um, yeah, that's going to be the dividend income for October 2020. I'll see you guys next month with another video like this. I'm sweeping and packing these dividends I keep stacking. To the roof, I'm out of room, I'm gonna have to get a bigger broom.